Hey guys, this is Peter Tucky, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool time warp picture with GIMP. So here's what we're going to be making today. Something similar to that. So first what you want to do is go ahead and open up GIMP. And now you want to go up to File. Once you've opened it up, File, New. You can make the dimensions whatever you want, but I'm going to make a square. So I'll do 400 by 400 and I'll make my thing pixels and click OK so now you should see like this box uh, empty white box so now you want to go to your blend tool go to uh, gradient and find a gradient let me show you the one that I would use right here it says full saturation spectrum there's CCW and then there's CW it doesn't really matter which one and I'll just select this one and now you want to change the shape to a spiral and it um, the different spirals are different directions so I'll click spiral CW and change the mode to difference now just go ahead and find your center click on it and then make a line and let go now go back to your center and make another line and keep doing that um, but you can change direction uh, where you put the line and the shorter the line the more 3d it looks but if you make it too short it'll have a lot of spirals so just keep alternating your directions and the size of the line see how it looks really cool now and I think that looks good so now once you've uh, decided how much you want to blend go to your text tool if you want to and I'm gonna just write CT you don't have to do the text part of this but I'm just gonna do it for fun I'll change the color to white um, I'll change to the size definitely and the font let me find my font real quick hold on okay here it is so now uh, I'm gonna move it a little bit so it'll be in the center okay there you go so once you finished editing your picture you can go up to file save as you can name it whatever you want but after you put a name there put dot jpg um, and now I'm gonna save it into my desktop and click save click export now drag your quality all the way up to 100 and click save now you can go ahead and close GIMP and here's the picture right here and that's it if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment or send me a message thanks